Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Let's Build series in Minecraft. Now today I want to show you something what I wanted to do for a very long time. I always wanted to use the purple block, well actually the purple concrete to build a house. And this is what I came up with. So let me quickly go inside and show you a little bit around. Now you might notice some blocks I haven't used ever which is the terracotta which goes for the purple concrete as well and this is uh, how the first floor looks nothing special i have tried to keep it very simple in design the second floor although is a little bit more fancy in my opinion and i am actually very happy with how this turned out as well now let's go through the materials i will have the same list in the description so keep that in mind but this is actually everything you need to build along. You can pause at any moment. Once you got everything, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to outline the build and we're going to start with a purple concrete. Then we're going to have two one white windows go in three blocks. This is going to be the entrance, so skip two blocks, and then let's repeat this on this side as well. Then for the sides, what we're going to do is actually the same thing. So the right side, the back side, and the left side are going to look exactly the same. That's why I will show you one side. So we want to have the two two white windows, a one white window, I'm sorry. Go in three blocks. Then we are going to have a full wall right here, which is four blocks long in total. Then we can just go back and get this done for this side. And remember, the back and the left side are going to be exactly the same. Once you got each side in, what you want to do is you want to go up seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you want to repeat that for each purple concrete. That we're going to build in each window. Now, the reason why we have done this is because it is much easier to get your windows in afterwards because this indicates the shape of it straight away. For the entrance, you can just build it up and connect it like this for now. On the back side, again, we are going to build these windows up. And what you want to do for the sides with the full window, well, actually with the full wall, is building it all up. Okay, because we are going to decorate this a little bit later on. So build the sides up and get each window in. The next thing what we're going to do is we're going to add another floor on top and the easiest way to do that is build the pillars up again with seven blocks one two three four five six and seven then you want to add a row of black concrete on top of each window then you can get simply the same shape done and build it in just like that then you can just build up each pillar you get the idea you want to get the second floor done just as easy as that just make sure that you add a row of black concrete just to indicate the second floor then you can get the same window shape as well once we're done with the second floor as well what we're going to do is we're going to build four arch shapes so add one more block on the sides then go in go up then connect these sides together and what we're going to do is we're going to repeat that on each side once you got that in as well what we're going to do is we're going to start decorating the windows now you want to decorate the windows only and leave these walls out the entrance out and to just focus on the one white windows here okay so start with some deep slate brick stairs then you want to take some purple stairs and add it in like this and take the crimson fence and add it in like so 
can take a lantern and place that in as well. Then take your glass and I'm going to use the white stand glass pane, but you can use whatever you like to. Now, this is the basic shape for the windows. And then the second floor is actually the same thing. Let me show you this as well, just to make it easier for you to follow along. This is basically what you want to do. Now, if, when you are done with this, what we're going to do is we're going to decorate the in, uh, the entrance and then we're going to focus on uh, the side walls. Then we want to take uh, some crimson trapdoors and add it in. There. So that is actually the basic decoration for each window. So make sure that you get that in all the way around. Before we continue and decorate the roof of this, what we're going to do is we're going to build in the entrance. So start off with two doors, then take your purple stairs and add it in. Add some iron bars on top. Then you want to go and add some more uh, stairs. After that, add some trap doors and open them up. Then what we need to do is we need to indicate actually a pillar going across. The next thing what we're going to do is we're going to decorate the entrance. Now you want to get this in for now. Then you want to go on this side and add some stairs. And make sure that you use deep slave stairs and go all the way around your build. Then you want to take some slabs and place it in going all the way around. And you want to skip the sides and just go in like this. Next up, we are going to build in the arch shape, so we can just add some stairs on both sides. Then go in one block. After that, you want to make sure that you place some stairs underneath as well. So first, do this for each arch shape. Then you want to take your stairs again and place it underneath. And go all the way around as well. Then again, take some slabs and place it going all the way around. Next up, we're going to build in this area as well, and we're going to decorate the side balls. Now, to start off, what you want to do is you want to add some fences going up. Then take your lantern and place that in. On the second floor, what you want to do is you want to start off with a row of stairs. Take the crimson trapdoors and add two like this. Then on the back side, you want to add a spruce trapdoor and open it up. Go across. Here we go. That's the basic shape. Then you want to add two fences, skip one, and then have a shape like this. Take your lanterns and place that in. Then take some buttons and place it in like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to decorate the pillars, the purple pillars right here. To start off, what you want to do for each one is actually adding a stair. And then you want to take the deep slate bricks wall and add it in going up. Now, this is actually what we're going to do for each side. The decoration is going to be actually similar. So let's add the stairs. On this side, you want to have ladders going up. And after that, on the remaining sides, we are going to use some walls again. The next thing we're going to do, like I said, is we're going to decorate these areas. Now, to start off, you want to add stairs like this. Then replace these four concrete blocks with some glowstone. Then add your iron bars. After that, create a small arch shape like this. Take your lanterns, place that in. And add two buttons like that. Then you can add some upside down stairs some regular stairs 
and then we're going to build up these sides with some fences here you can just go ahead and do it like this add your lanterns in in you know like this a little bit a oval shape to be honest after that you can just take your buttons and place them in now that is what we're going to do for each side then for the decoration part again you want to use some deep slay and the only difference is going to be this side over here because this is going to be leathers and on the remaining sides you can just add your deep slay tile wall once we're done with each side it should look like this to get the roof in what you want to do is you want to start with some trap doors on the edge like this and go all the way around then you want to add one row of stone brick stairs and connect it together with the side so you want to connect that side with this side and after that you want to add a row of full blocks right here let's use the white concrete and then you can go ahead and add the second row in as well and this is actually how we are going to connect each side and once you are at this point you just want to stop after that we are going to add one more row and close it off so you just want to go and make sure that you connect each side together then once you are at this point what you want to do is you want to replace these sides with some deep slay then replace this block on the side as well and let's do it over on this side the reason is this will add a little bit more of darkness on the sides so the roof actually adds up a little bit more with the overall design of this house so just get rid of the sides first place your stairs in you can even leave it as that if you want to but i like it when you add just one more on the side okay so keep that in mind then you just want to add one more row of white concrete then add another row of stairs after you got that you can just cover it up with some slabs then like I said you just want to cover it with some slabs and I'm going to use the deep slay. Next thing what we're going to do is we're going to get a deep garden in. Now a couple mentions I want to Next up we're going to get a deep garden done. Now this is a optional way of doing this. You do not have to do this if you have surroundings this is a flat world that's why i have decided to add a garden as well you just want to go out maybe six or seven blocks then add your leaves on the sides as easy as that and let's actually add one more row then you just want to go all the way around your base once you are at this point make sure that you go in diagonally and not in the straight line just to add a little bit more depth then take your crimson fences, add it in, and make sure that you skip two or three blocks and then add your trapdoors in, followed with some lanterns on top of the fences. Once you're done with your garden, you can add some trees on the sides as well. And let's actually move in and let's start decorating the interior of this house. Now, as you can notice, I have added torches on each pillar because we are going to indicate some walls on the inside. So let's start with this side here. Just want to repeat the same walls, but this time we are going to build it inside. And I will outline everything first so it is easier for you to follow along. Okay, once you got this all in, you want to make sure that you build it all up until you meet the white concrete right here. Once you are done with that, what you want to do is you want to go up here and then add a roof on top. Make sure that you light up this area as well so that nothing spawns. And I'm using the cracked deep slate bricks for this. Okay, just cover this all up. 
Next up, we are going to indicate the second floor and I'm going to use the strip darko wood for this one. So you just want to go up and fill it in from this point on and make sure that you light this area up as well so that nothing spawns. Once you're done with the second floor as well, what we're going to do is we're going to start decorating this house. Now, what I'm going to do is I will use a little bit of quartz. So go on this side and go in line with this block over here. Get rid of the torch and then build up a staircase. Once you got the two white staircase, you want to add some crimson fences on the side just to decorate this. Next up, we're going to need a storage area and I am very tempted to use these sides for storage. So let's actually do that. Add a row of stairs first underneath and on top. Then take your chests and place it in like this and do the same thing over here as well. Then let's take your item frames and place it in on the sides. And let's add them on this side as well. So you will end up with a storage area looking like that. Then you want to add a row of fences going up. And to light this area up, actually before we do that, you want to add one more row of stairs going across. Then take some lanterns and add it in as well. You want to do this for each corner. Once you got each side in, it should look like this. And I'm already very happy with how this is looking. Now, next up, we're going to build a living room area. To start off, you want to add some court stairs like this. Then on top of this, you want to add two rows of black concrete, then add your stairs in again. Take the purple stairs and add two rows going in. Then take the crimson trap door, place it in and open them up. On the sides, a quick change. I have decided to use the purple stairs uh, anyway. So that is because it actually fits this design more than the uh, actually the quartz stairs then on the remaining walls what we're going to do is we're going to use some coupled uh, deep slay walls and build it in okay then once you got this if you want to you can even add a row of deep slay stairs going across like that then in front of this, we are going to have an area to sit down and relax. So add four stairs like that and add two more on these sides. Then take some trap doors and I will use the crimson for this one. Add it in and open them up. The next thing what we are going to do is we are going to build a kitchen area. Now, I will use the purple glazed regatta for this one because I think it's going to fit perfectly. So make a shape, well actually a U shape like this. Then you want to do the same thing, but this time it's going to be too wide and add it in. Make sure that you connect it from these sides. Then to make this a little bit more fitting, just add some deep slay stairs covering the sides. Okay, once you got that, you can take your trapdoors, and I'm going to use the dark oak trapdoor just to darken this area out and to bring a little bit of contrast in between the colors. Okay, so just add your trapdoors. And then we need some buttons as well. And I'm going to use the polished blackstone button for this and add it in. Let's do the same thing over here as well. Then take some campfires and place them on top like this. Then you want to take your fences and go across. And this will just actually represent a grill. Just like that. Then on the sides, you want to add some walls 
just to darken this area a little bit up so like this area what you want to do is you want to use some glowstone and i have used some mangrove trap doors as well just to cover up the glowstone then we have two sides to work on let's start with the entrance now the entrance is going to be quite simple you just want to add some stairs and connect these sides together and make sure that you make a well actually a shape like that which goes inwards then you can add your walls on these two sides take your uh, fences and place it on these sides and it is actually pretty straightforward and once you've got all of this you can take some ladders and place that in uh, oops here you just want to have some ladders going up take some crimson button and add it in right there as well okay now the last thing that we're going to do for the first floor is decorating this area and that is going to be pretty straightforward again we're going to add some stairs and then you can simply get some paintings and place it in just fill this wall up with some paintings and that is going to be it for the first floor so let's go up and let's decorate the second floor as well what we're going to do is we're going to add some bookshelves on the sides instead of the chests on like we have done on the first floor so it is actually the same design i will just show you one more time just to make it easier you just want to add your stairs in and then take your bookshelves and fill this wall in and do that actually for each wall on the sides then you want to add walls on the sides and to light it up you want to replace this block with a glowstone add your trap doors and open them up the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to build in the bedroom to start off you want to add some stairs go in two blocks and then add four stairs add your bed on top take your spruce trap doors add that in and open them up on the back side what you want to do is you want to have a full block followed with two stairs as well then you want to build up the sides like this add some buttons then on the sides again you want to add your stairs build up add some upside down stairs and then you just want to go again for stairs then take some iron bars and then you want to add a row of deep slay stairs take some walls place that in going up then we will have a side which then you just want to have some fences going up like that and if you want to you can connect these two sides like this as well I have done is I have added a table and it is pretty straightforward that's why I didn't show you you just want to have four, four stairs on this side four stairs on that side add some carpets and then surround it with some seats then what we're going to do is we're going to add another wall of paints just like this you just want to go in what we're going to do here is actually the same thing as we have done for the first floor we are going to fill these areas up with some paintings but anyway that is going to be it now i have to be honest i am actually very happy with how this turned out and feel free to let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section i hope you all have a nice day see you the next time